Today we're having a look at a product from Realware and this particular device I'm wearing here is called the HMT1. Now first of all, besides the whole uh, replicating something you saw in a movie somewhere, what is the real use case? So the real use case for me is in tasks where you need your hands. Uh, perhaps it's a life and death situation, you're working with live wires, side cutters in the one hand, blue wire, red wire in the other, which one do you use? Help me out guys. Well, you know, I don't have time to pull out my phone. I need both my hands. This is your device. Now, just some of the uh, the details with working with this device. First of all, first of all, the thing that I noticed uh, that is very important is that um, when you put on the device, you need to make sure you set it up correctly. I must have messed around a few hours before I realized that, um, you know, I was I wasn't able to see the full scope of the this, this tiny little screen in front of me which really does look like uh, the uh, the size of my iPad uh, when it's so close to your eye but that's the secret it needs to be quite close to your eye you'll see on the back over here it's got this little elbow and it allows you to push this arm way back to get the screen really close what I'd done mistakenly initially is I'd had a little bit more straight with the arm a little bit further away and what that meant is I wasn't actually getting the full uh, scope of what was on the display which meant I had to keep adjusting the lens to be able to see left or right but I've got that sussed now the other thing of course is that if you can't see everything uh, some of the applications actually allow you especially if they're wide allow you to tilt your head left or right or up or down and that kind of scrolls within the application now like I said before the entire thing is uh, driven by voice command so for example you'll hear confirmation when I do navigate it for example uh, navigate home you could hear that navigating home. My camera, record video. Pretty cool, don't you think? Stop recording, navigate home, and I'm back to the home menu. My programs, Teams. Now, on the Teams icon, I actually saw a little round bubble with a digit 9 on it, so I could have gone and said the word select and then followed by the digit and would have selected it either way but a lot of the applications I've noticed actually you just say the action and you're all good so for example select seven and we're making a call and I might just lean over and answer that from the back if I can find my mouse right okay so um I'm recording in 10 different spaces at the moment. That a terminate call. Very good. So uh, let's have a quick look at how I would potentially send a chat message uh, to someone. So uh, I'm just looking at um, my calls. My calls. So I'm on the my calls menu, which is the default menu when you fire up Teams. My chats. Select item 2. Hmm. Compose message. Now, whilst I'd love to compose a, a message, what I'm finding here is I've got an alphanumeric keypad and by tilting my head left and right, I'm looking at the letters and at the moment I can switch that up or down. Uh, I could, I'd have to say the uh, radio signs really. So if I wanted to say hi, I'd have to say Hotel Indy. Right, and then I'd have to go navigate back, send message. Right, so I've navigated back and I'm on the window, the very window that you're seeing in my recording on the desktop. So I'm going to go select, so I have a three down where it says type my message. So I go select item three. More options. I'm going to go for more options because I don't really want to go and type it out, right? Uh, and now there's an, uh, a, um, an option to dictate. Dictation, AT, I'm not sure if you're going to get this message as clear as I wish, but let's see what happens. Accept, send message, and, and that's me sending a message. The adjustment is key, it's absolutely key, and you can tighten it over here with the tightening, and oh, there we go. Now I'm seeing things way better. Now, now Tian hasn't responded, and I can see he's busy, so let's go navigate back. I'm getting messages on the back end here from other Teams users. That's those alerts you're hearing. Um, you might actually see them pop up on the screen as well. Navigate back. 
I could take a photo, allow, and I'm going to send it to Tian, right? So let's grab a photo of my manual here. Zoom level 5. Take photo. Send message. Now, there we go. There's my photo. So you get a bit of a feel for what I'm talking about over there. I'm feeling like it's growing on me. It's becoming an extension of uh, how I'm operating. Navigate back. Navigate home. Do it all the way back home. Navigate home. And I'm right back to the home screen. And of course, when you're done, um, in my case, I've got my cap in the way. I might just fold it up and oh, maybe I'll just do it this way around. Fold it behind, tucked away, safe and sound.